Hey everyone, welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and I'm here to teach you how to leave proper and respectful comments on dating advice online. Now, I've got this dating advice queued up, so let's take a look and I'll leave my comment. You ask a variety of open-ended open -ended questions to determine his willingness to leave his wife. You see, notice how he talks about his wife. I is he still endearing? God damn you, Dr. Phil ass son of a bitch. I had things going perfect until my secretary saw this and blackmailed me into leaving my wife. The fuck is wrong with you giving everyone ideas with this snitch ass bullshit? I'm gonna rate this video 9 out of 11 because it's suspicious and requires further investigation. Hashtag Randy Sanders 2016. And first, well, I just made that guy my girlfriend. Now my favorite part about the internet is that there is a vast wealth of knowledge available to anyone's fingertips at the click of a button, uh, unless you live in India, Russia, China, or the entire Middle East, but for everybody else, all that great knowledge does come with some bad knowledge every now and then. And when we're talking about dating advice online, sometimes the bad outweighs the good. Take this guy for instance. But like, I work these fucking hard. Okay, now the other thing that I do is that with the opportunities that I do get, I work those opportunities hard. Oh, that's good advice. Hey, you, don't go in the bus. Hello. Why? Because you're with me now. But like, why? Can you come? Let me come. Oh, you th oh, girls like that. You, hi, pleasure. I see you're evaluating the situation. Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Two things that I think I do really well is that I work the clubs really fucking well. Like I work these fucking clubs. Like I work them. Like I think most people are not working them. Well, that's quite the trick. They go in a bit and then they kind of back off. Whereas like guys like me or Julian, we are working the shit out of these places, working them hard. All right. Well, that was a whole lot of bad advice. So let's leave this guy a comment to let him know what we think. Yo, great advice, you grown up tin tin looking motherfucker. Guess everybody needs a hobby. Some dudes fish, some dudes golf. Some dudes teach seminars on sexual conquest to dozens of desperate horny men. I might not have your uncanny ability to trick random women into having the worst sex of their life, as you so proudly showcase. But then again, I could get my dick sucked tonight for 50 bucks and you'd still wake up tomorrow gay and addicted to women. So enjoy that hellish existence. Don't forget the government is controlling our weather with chemtrails, so when you're all done publicly fingering drunk chicks, maybe you can petition your local representative. And post. All right, well now let's turn to some actually good dating advice on YouTube as we go to our next video. Whoop, nope, just another one of these guys. Dates. Okay, dates. All right, now while this video plays, let's take a look at the comments section and see how people are responding. I want to murder this guy's accent. Well, first of all, girls fucking love shopping. That's the number one thing, they, they never say no to shopping. This guy remembers me the good ideas. Thanks, man. And I actually gotten laid, I don't know, like 15 times off like, let's play Uno cards. <laughs> it's crazy, girls love it. They're like, oh my God, Uno cards, that's so cool. Doing a lot of this on Tinder. I have this girl so fucking horny. And there's a store that has weapons, you know, knives, swords, and shit. I was walking there like, oh my God, look at those awesome knives and swords. Which one is yours? Okay, give the girl little challenges. Dude, with pretty face and tall body like you have, you don't need any tricks to bang chicks. On the other hand, if you're a small, fat, ugly, poor guy, you will always be sleazy, blah, 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 uh, blah, blah. You can't always yell them down like, bitch, don't fucking drink ever. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it's just like, fuck it, lazy, easier. Here, have your little sips and fuck her. Haha, <laughs> good stuff. Now, uh, pay close attention as I apply some real social dynamics to this comment. I'll bet there's not enough scented candles in the goddamn world to bring that hotel conference room back to normal once you and your budding rape mutants have rolled through. Anyway, you must have some serious lady skills to fuck anything with that accent. And by that accent, I mean you talk like a fuck five-year-old, bro. Go take some America lessons, and I can't wait to catch your next seminar on how to bury your date in the desert after things don't work out. And grope. Hey, I got a funny idea. How about we take a look at another dating advice video on YouTube? Here's one. Women want to be around men who make them feel good and who aren't trying to grab onto them and hold them or manipulate them or to get- Well, top of the morning, I'm ready to comment on this guy. Oi, Chris Milan, it's your pa here. You are proud of your boy. So proud of everything you go going for ya. When you told me about your computer video career, I was excited for ya. But now I see a raised womanizer. It ain't right to mince you teach these dumpty blokes to treat women in the liking them. Let the poor bastards earn their love fair and square. Don't forget George Bush was behind September 11th. Once you got bloat! Alright, well, it looks like that's the end of the lesson. I hope you guys had a great time spending this educational moment with me. And please follow me on Twitter at Commenticate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly lessons. If you don't subscribe, I'm not gonna make weekly lessons. And you might be thinking, how would you know if I don't subscribe? Maybe you should just subscribe so we don't have to go down that road, Michael! This guy remembers me the good ideas. Thanks, man!